So we will continue with linear momentum and this one is for open system, meaning the system is open to the surrounding and we usually call it as a uh, jet. For this one, it's water, so it's water jet. So if you see from this picture, a horizontal open flow water jet with volume flow rate of 2.8 meter cube per second is deflected. Oh, so this one is the volume flow rate. This is Q. Is deflected by a vertical stationary splitter as shown in figure question 4A. Okay, so what they are saying is this is an open flow water jet, meaning even though we have like a shape like this, it means that this is still a water jet. Okay, the meaning of water jet is uh, the system has uh, an open system where the water is outside of the pipe. So this is ATM. Sorry. Uh, this is ATM. And uh, the whole thing will be having a pressure of zero. For example, here we have point one. And here we have point number two. Okay. So these two points, the pressure for P1 and P2 should equal to zero. Since again, remember, our study is based on gauge pressure. So to continue, what we have to do is we have to check on the velocity. So if you read again, the vertical splitter div diverted and diver divided, the steady flow equally half with the average speed of velocity equals to 5.5 meter per second each. Okay, so the velocity here is 5.5. Neglecting the gravitational effect, predict the resultant force required to hold the vertical splitter in place against the water force. The question asks for resultant force. Okay, and once again, when you see this question, they don't provide you the velocity for this point, point number one we can just assume the velocity should be the same, okay? So, if it is the same, we can just assume V at point 0.1 over here should equal to 5.5 meter per second. So, this is point 0.2, for example. Uh, we can just put this as point 0.3 and this is as point 0.4. It's uh, dependent on you. Uh, the, the notation for this part, this part and this part is up to you, okay? Okay, so how do we do this? Uh, they are asking for FR for this question. So check on this question and then you can see this is FR. Okay, uh, without doing any calculation, you can actually predict what is FR, predicting that uh, we don't have any, uh, the summation of FY should be equal to zero at this point. Why? Because we have the same velocity going up and going down over here water is splashed, uh, okay, and divided nicely into two, meaning we have done some calculation before and we've seen that if it is the same to the top and to the bottom, this Fy will be cancelled out by this Fy or if Fry will be cancelled out by this Fry. But we can still prove it here, so we can do it one by one, okay. So we do it through summation of fx equals to zero. I believe you are already uh, established that we have force on the left side and momentum on the right side. So I will do it this way uh, without any tables as we, like before. So efx equals to zero, or summation fx equals to zero. So we see what kind of fx that we have here. First, v1 over here. So we know we have p1 a1 because this is zero, so we have zero. Plus, these two points, we don't have any x direction, the first thing. And the second thing is uh, P2 and P3 and P4 will also equals to zero. So plus zero, plus zero. And we just put FRX here equals to, uh, okay. So we do have m dot here. And remember, because it is spread out the same, so whatever that you have q over here, this should be q over 2. This should be q over 2. Okay. So if you have it over here, so remember, it should be at this point, uh, m dot f, sorry, m dot v, 
Okay, so m dot outlet p outlet minus m dot inlet v inlet. Okay, so for this question, the m dot outlet will be uh, rho q over two, and then uh, we have zero plus zero. Okay, why is it zero? Because the v over here is y direction, not x direction. So we don't have any x, so the velocity should be equal to zero. Okay, and minus q times rho over here, and then the velocity at the inlet, which is 5.5 meter per second. Okay, so the equation over here will be frx, since this is zero, so we can cancel out, is equal to rho q times 5.5. What is rho q? Uh, rho q is m dot. Or rho av. Okay. So if you put the numbers in, so rho will be, this is water, 1000. And then q is 2.8. And then multiply by 5.5. So you'll get, uh, this is minus. Eh? So minus rho q minus 1000. So the answer for FRX should equal to 15,400 okay. so meters. Right, so this is the answer for FRX, meaning the direction should be to the left. Okay, so what will be for summation of FY? So summation FY equals to zero. Once again, all P1, P3, P4 is equal to zero. Okay, so I put it here. P3 equals to P4 is also equals to zero for the same reason because this is gauge pressure. So we have 0 plus 0 plus 0 minus W, but we don't have any uh, number for W, should be 0 also, plus FRY equals to M dot outlet. So uh, M dot outlet is Q over 2, rho Q over 2. Here will be 5.5. To the top, so positive 5.5 plus to the bottom over here is negative 5.5. Okay, meaning these two cancel each other out, so this becomes zero. Okay, and then minus m inlet v inlet. But if you check from here, the inlet, we don't have any y direction. It's only x direction. So it becomes zero also. So your FRY should be equal to zero. So that's the answer for FRY. So if you want to find out what is FR, it is equal to FRX square plus FRY square. Okay, and square root of it. So it equals to negative 15,400 uh, 15, square plus zero square. So the FR should be equal to 15,400 Newton. Okay, so we know here the FR over here is 15,400 Newton and going to the left. All right. So we know if we leave it this way, the board without FR will move to the right. Okay, so you need to overcome it by having FR with the same amount of FRX, which is 15,400 Newton. That will be the answer for this question. Uh, this question is based on the idea of linear momentum uh, in terms of pipe, meaning there will be some part of the question where it is inside the pipe 
and the other pipe might be inside the pipe or will be going outside of the pipe. So we will check on the question. A reducing elbow, reducing meaning the elbow over here will reduce in size, is used to deflect oil, 760 kilogram per meter cube at a mass flow rate of 20 kg per second. So for this question, they already give you the mass flow rate, which is 20 kilogram per second. Okay. The inlet gauge pressure is 200 kilopascal here and the elbow discharges water into the atmosphere. So at this point, the elbow discharge into the atmosphere. So what we can do over here, we can straight down and put P2 equals to zero. Okay. If the question says that this continues into another pipe, it will never be zero. But for this question, they said, uh, it will be discharged into the atmosphere, so P2 equals to 0. The cross-sectional area of the elbow at the inlet is 0 0.1 meter square and 0 0.05 meter square at the exit. Calculate the magnitude of the resultant force required to hold the elbow in place. So magnitude of the resultant force meaning we are searching for FR. Once again, if you want to find FR, you have to find FRX and FRY, okay? So we will do it again, summation of FOX equals to zero first, okay? So we check on this part. Remember, this point one, we have an angle of 45 degree. So we can just do P1A1. So before that, we need to draw the arrow. So this one will be P1, A1, uh, the arrow for this one should be into the system, P2, A2, okay, and then the arrow for uh, momentum will be M dot V1, and the momentum will follow the flow, so it will be M dot V2. Okay, so remember, uh, once again, I would like to remind you, P1A1 and P2A2 will always go into the pipe, okay, or into the system over here. M dot V1 and M dot V2, it will follow the flow, okay. So we have P1A1, P2A2 here, so we can do the calculation because we already know what is the direction. So we have here p one a1, because it's going to the right, should be cos theta, or for our question, is 45 degree. And then P2A2 is to the back, minus P2A2. Uh, no cos over here, it is horizontally uh, written here, okay? And then plus FRX is equal to uh, M dot V1 here and M dot V2. So M dot should be the same because this is in the same pipe, all right? So we don't have any separation. So both have the same M dot or mass flow rate. So we get V2 going to the right positive minus, this is operation, okay? Remember, this is an operation. It is not because of the direction. Uh, so now we will control the direction. So the direction here, is to the right, so we have positive V1. And remember to put cos theta here. All right? So P1A1, cos theta, P2A2, C here, P2 is zero, so this should be equal to zero. So you will have the equation to be FRX equals to M dot V2 minus V1 cos 45 degree minus P1, A1, cos 45 degree. So if you put the numbers in, 20. Okay, so we have to find out V2. All right, for this question, we don't have the I did not find any V before, so I need to do it right now. So we do M dot equals to rho a v so for example we do rho a1 v1 equals to 20 kilogram per second okay 
So to find out what is V1, it is equal to 20 divided by rho of oil, 760 divided by area at point 0.1, 0 0.1. So V1 should equal to 0 0.263. 0 0.263 meter per second. Okay, we use the same idea for V2. So V2 equals to 20 divided by 760 divided by 0 0.05. So V2 should equal to 0 0.526, 0 0.526 meter per second. So we can put in 0 0.526 minus 0 0.263. Okay, and then cos 45 degree minus P1 is 200 kilopascal times area 0 0.1. Uh, and then we have cos 45 degree. Okay, the answer for FRX should be negative 14,135.34 Newton. Okay, that will be the answer for the linear momentum. Okay, for FRX. And then we have to find out what is FRY. So summation of FY equals to zero. So here we have P1A1 at a certain angle. So we have Y direction. Should be P1A1 sine 45 degree. Okay, it's going upward. So we want to find the vertical. So this one. And then we have P2A2. We don't have any Y direction. So it is it just equals to zero minus w plus fry so remember for this uh, y direction we have w weight but the question did not give us any weight so we can just assume it is zero uh, if the question give you any weight or mass for example you need to find in terms of weight for example if the question give you 20 kilogram make sure you change it into weight by multiplying with 9.81 okay for this question at this moment we don't have any of that so we can just do zero okay fry over here uh, will be always positive we assume going upward equals to m dot okay so check for v2 no y direction so equals to zero and then v1 over here we have y direction, so minus, this is an operation. And then the V1 is going upward, so we can just do V1 sine 45 degree. Okay, so V1A1, so we have FRY to be equal to M dot negative V1 sine 45 degree. A minus P1 A1 sine 45 degree. So FRY should equal to M dot is 20. V1 will be cos 63 sine 45 degree. Okay. Minus P1 pressure 1 will be uh, 200 kilopascal times the area will be 0 0.1 times sine 45 degree, okay. So FRY should equal to, I get this to be negative 14145.86 Newton, yes, okay. So if I want to find what is FR, 
So the answer for FRY is negative 141 for 5.86 Newton. Okay, so FR should be equal to FRX square plus FRY square. If I do the calculation, it will be equal to Uh, 19.997.83 Newton, okay, for FR. That will be the resultant force. So that will be covering our question in terms of linear momentum in pipe.